it all starts under the hood. First thing you want to do is to make sure that you have your car serviced regularly. Checking the oil and having it changed every three to 5,000 miles will help your engine run its best. And now a tune-up is also a good idea, especially if your car has over 100,000 miles. Replacing these spark plugs will do the job. Now there's some things that you can do yourself. That includes the air filter. They're typically located under the hood near the side of the engine and a dirty air filter can really hurt your engine's performance and your gas mileage. And lastly, be sure to check your car's tire pressure. If you don't have a tire gauge at home, just stop by your local gas station. These halls may be quiet, but the classrooms are not at Danville's very own Virtual Academy. And when it comes to your tire pressure, don't always go off of the number that's on the side of the tire. Instead, you want to open the car door, look in the door jam. This way, you're going to make sure that you have the recommended tire pressure for the car, not just for the tire. So hopefully some of these tips will help keep a little bit more jingle in your pocket. Live tonight in Danville, Daniel Cruz, ABC 13 News. ABC 13's Daniel Cruz is live tonight with some professional advice on how to handle your money during this time. Daniel? Mark, Associate Professor Ernest Pegram at Everett University here in Danville says right now is not the time to panic and it's not the planning to invest in some stocks in the stock market. He says to hold on to that money and invest once some of these global tensions subside. Live in Danville, Daniel Cruz, ABC 13 News. Now, AAA does have some tips if you're in the market for a new car. We have some of those tips that will hopefully save you a little bit of money on our website, WSET.com. Live tonight in Danville, Daniel Cruz, ABC 13 News. All right, thanks, George. A new museum in Danville makes you the main attraction. That's right, and you get to be the one in charge of your own destiny. ABC 13's Will Stafford takes us there in tonight's People and Places. You've heard that a picture is worth a thousand words, but an aspiring mind snapshot in Danville, it's worth so much more than that. We've heard of selfies, we do it all the time, but like, why go to a museum and do that? Sierra Roach is the owner of the museum. She decided to open the museum to bring more to Danville. This is where I work, this is my home now, um, and I wanted something for our kids. Roach is a pediatrician by trade and opened the museum to inspire young minds to be anything they want to be. I love mentoring. That's one of my passions is just mentoring to um, especially high school students. Here, that's truly possible. I love talking to people that come in and kind of spark up a conversation and show them kind of resources that have helped me um, that can hopefully help them in their future too. Each room takes you to a different atmosphere with interactive exhibits. We have a classroom, um, candy room, we have smiley face. Um, I'm a veteran, so I also have like a little veteran um, area. Music room, we have like kind of a glow in the dark, kind of neon room. They'll change out some of the rooms with the seasons, but others will stay the same. You'll pay by the hour, allowing you to put your phone to work and take your best shot. You get to take as many pictures as you want. Uh, we have the clickers that you can use. But it's not just for kids. I found out adults can have fun here too. This is probably what I would do should I hit the jackpot at the new Danville Casino. Here's a scary thought. We decided to try out the medical room, something you probably don't want to see. You can live out your dreams of being a professional boxer. Just don't get clocked. And after a long day of role playing, you might just need to jump in the pool. With over 21 different displays to choose from here, the possibilities are essentially endless of all the selfies you can take. And as long as you're not on the naughty list, like George, you should be able to come right on in. And Danville Will Stafford, ABC 13 News. Bill is using his talents to kick things up a notch. Xavier Cruz has become an internet sensation. ABC 13's Will Stafford finds out why. They say you can tell a lot about a person by their shoes. From the look of Xavier Cruz's shoes, there's a lot to tell. Cruz is a full-time engineer, but in his free time, he engineers custom shoes under the name Xavier Kicks. Whatever I was thinking in my head, just put it on a shoe. Lots of them, in fact. When you walk around his studio, you'll see a huge variety, all one-of-a-kind works of art. His tools are anything from Q-tips to hand brushes. Whether it's paint or comic book pages, each design is unique. I create something new every time. So I think that's the cool part is it's a different result every shoe. Some of the designs even take a 3D approach, 
like this one. We have some Tom and Jerry ones. Um, this is where you know, took the check off and then cut up as far as the cheese. Oh, Tom and Jerry there? Not stenciled, hand drawn. What started out as just curiosity in high school has now blossomed into a full-fledged following online. When Xavier reached 100,000 YouTube followers, he got this plaque from YouTube. Since then, he's amassed more than 400,000 followers. I could never really dream of me just hitting 400,000, even 100, or even 10. Um, it's been quite a journey. His YouTube followers have even helped him get noticed by celebrities. Some have even reached out to him, looking for custom kicks. I even talked to um, Lil Yachty's people. This year, I'm probably going to do a lot more celebrity shoes. Xavier says he gets the most joy out of mentoring his followers to follow their dreams. I always motivate them and always tell them, like, hey, good job. And always don't be scared to go out your comfort zone. In total, Xavier has done dozens of shoes since starting this project back in 2017. His next move, he says, is going to be something anime. In Danville, Will Stafford, ABC 13 News. Good to have you with us tonight. Students brought guns into Halifax County High School undetected. And now school leaders are investigating how it could have happened. ABC 13's Claire Galt sat down with the superintendent to find out what's being done to make sure it never happens again. Two students were charged with possession of a weapon on school property after South Boston police found three firearms in Halifax High School on February 3rd. Today, I learned the school was not using metal detectors that day. Interim Superintendent Valdivia Hall says the work is starting now to figure out where the lapse in security happened. South Boston police say they were tipped off about possible contraband on campus on February 3rd. When they responded, they found three guns inside of two students' backpacks. Monday night, the Halifax County School Board met to talk about how this happened. Only one of them is used. I went to that meeting, but I was not able to talk to her about what was discussed. I tried on Tuesday to catch up with her. Hall told me she was at the meeting until 3 in the morning. Today, I went to the school administration building where she agreed to talk to me. Do the schools have metal detectors inside? Yes. Do you know if they were used that day? Um, they were not used that particular morning. Um, I know that they are randomly used uh, throughout the school year. Can you say why they're only used some days and not all days? I'm not uh, sure of the schedule in which they are used. Uh, but I do know that they're randomly used uh, during school. They're randomly used uh, during some of our uh, athletic events. Are all of the metal detectors in the schools working? Well, I think the, from our school board meeting, I think that our principal mentioned that there may be one or two that uh, I think they're in need of some type of repair. And of course, you, as you know, that was reported. Was it reported before or after the incident occurred? I'm not sure when it was actually reported. Hall also says she's not sure how many metal detectors the school currently has. As for the meeting Monday night, Hall says they're looking at to form a committee to discuss the issues surrounding the metal detectors. Live in Danville, Claire Gall, ABC 13 News. Anyone who drives knows that gas prices just keep climbing because they are. Yeah, the average price for a gallon of unleaded, unleaded nationwide is three thirty nine. That's a 93 cent increase from the same time last year. Crude oil prices make up more than half of the cost of a gallon of gas. And according to AAA, the price of crude oil is what's driving up the cost. Sure. In just a couple of weeks, we'll see families hitting the road for spring break. Uh, not too long after that, we'll see folks everywhere hitting the roads and hitting the skies. Let's not forget jet fuel comes from crude oil as well for summer travel, and that will all drive up prices. You can also expect to see prices go up again when we switch to the summer blend of gasoline in just a few weeks. And those high prices are hitting our finances pretty hard. Tonight, how you can save money. ABC 13's Daniel Cruz shows us what you can do to get the most out of each fill-up. None of us want to pay more for gas than we have to. And even though the price of the pub is going up, there are a few easy things you can do to keep more cash in your pocket. It all starts under the hood. First thing you want to do is to make sure that you have your car serviced regularly. Checking the oil and having it changed every three to 5,000 miles will help your engine run its best. And now a tune-up is also a good idea, especially if your car has over 100,000 miles. Replacing these spark plugs will do the job. 
the fuel system area uh, helps the car to run as, as designed and it will help gas mileage. Now with some things that you can do yourself. That includes the air filter. They're typically located under the hood near the side of the engine and a dirty air filter can really hurt your engine's performance and your gas mileage. And lastly, be sure to check your car's tire pressure. If you don't have a tire gauge at home, just stop by your local gas station. These few steps can not only improve your miles per gallon, but also extend the life of your car. It's, it's something that's affordable. Um, tire pressure and air, uh, air filters, you know, of course you can do yourself. From week to week, you may not see a lot of difference, but over time, you will, within uh, you know, a few weeks to months and, and then years. Having a mechanic check your car's fuel system can also make sure that things are clean and functioning at its best. But when in doubt, always refer to your car's owner manual to learn how you can check some of these things. And when it comes to your tire pressure, don't always go off of the number that's on the side of the tire. Instead, you want to open the car door, look in the door jam. This way, you're going to make sure that you have the recommended tire pressure for the car, not just for the tires. So hopefully some of these tips will help keep a little bit more jingle in your pocket. Live tonight in Danville, Daniel Cruz, ABC 13 News.